Hi, I'm Katie Aikens with Arizona Farm Bureau Ag in the Classroom. And I'm Alicia Gutierrez with Arizona Farm Bureau Ag in the Classroom. And we're so excited to be here with you guys today to talk about one of our favorite things. Food! food. But not just any food, the best food ever. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know what it is? Hey, they like like the same yes. thing we do. Pizza. pizza! So today we're gonna learn all about pizza and where it comes from, which brings us to our first question. Where does pizza come from? <laughs> I heard it. Little Caesars, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Papa, Papa Murphy's, Murphy's uh, Buddy Z's, Zeke's, Oregano's. Oh my gosh, you can get pizza everywhere, and I love almost every one of those types <laughs> of pizza. But do we really get pizza, or does pizza come from the stores? I mean, I know we buy it from there, but where do all of the ingredients for pizza come from? Boom! You got it. The farm. The farm. So, of course, that's what we are going to talk about today, is how farmers grow our pizza. So, I think we should make today the world's best pizza. What do you think? Ooh, that sounds like fun. Okay. So... What is it that we need to make the world's best pizza? What do we have to have from the start of the pizza? What's the most yep. important thing? We have to have the, the crust. crust. Ooh, look how okay. big this crust is. So do we go to a farm and just find a bunch of crusts growing in the field? <laughs> no, that's silly. No? There's no crust plants. Okay, so where's crust come from? Flour. flour. Yes, okay. you have to have yes. flour to make the crust. Very good. But where do we get flour from? Wheat. Wheat. Very yeah. good. Good. So here in Arizona, our farmers grow a couple of different types of wheat. And I want to talk to you about one type of wheat that they grow, which is called desert durum or durum wheat, because that wheat is actually used to make pastas. Pasta. Yes. Okay. So... Um, that's one type of wheat. And then they also do grow wheat, though. That is better for the flowers yep. and making they breads and down. pastries and those sorts of things. So, um, yeah, we do. We grow we grow wheat. Desert durum, durum wheat, and our bread wheat. So, do you think, though, that we here in Arizona grow more wheat than anyone else? I mean, I love Arizona, and our farmers are amazing. No, mm -hmm. you're right. We don't grow the most. Some other state does. And so that's what we're going to do today. As we go through and build the world's best pizza, we're going to talk about the different commodities or things that are raised on the farm or ranch that we need to make the items for our pizza. And then we're going to talk about which state in the U.S. grows the most of that commodity. So for this Activity, you guys are going to need your blank maps. Forgot about that. Okay. Blank maps. So, Miss Alicia is going to show you. It looks like this. All right, so everybody should have their blank map. And then you are also going to need seven different colors of either markers, colored pencils, or crayons. We don't care which ones you use, but it has to be seven different colors. If you don't have seven different colors for everyone at your desks, if you have a shared box, it's okay. You can use the same colors as other people. You just have to share them a little bit, okay? But we're gonna use seven different colors because each color marker is going to represent one of the commodities that we talk about. And then we're gonna make a key on our map. So when we look at our map later, we'll know which state is responsible for producing the largest amount of that commodity. Okay? I think they're ready. Okay. I see you. You've got your maps and you have your colors. So, we've been talking about the crust and the crust coming from wheat. We know we grow wheat here in Arizona, but we are not the number one producers of wheat. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's a state that's called the bread basket. Ooh. Do you guys know what state's called the bread basket? It's Let's in the see. Midwest. 
How good are you guys at your geography? Do you know what it is? What state is that? Starts with a K. Kansas. Kansas. Right there. So we have big old Texas, and then you're going to go up one, two, right there. So Kansas is the number one producer, right? Mm -hmm. We do grow it here in Arizona. In fact, here in Arizona, our farmers grow about 77,000 acres of wheat. Now, if you're not sure what an acre is, an acre is a um, piece of land that is about the size of a football field. So imagine 77,000 football fields planted in wheat. Okay. All right, now I am a huge crust fan, but also I think the next thing is pretty important to have to make a pizza. What's the next thing that we would need to make the world's best pizza? Desert, we need sauce. sauce. Now sauce is important. And today we have a red sauce, but we do know that there are white pizzas that you can get yeah. that have white sauces. But today we're gonna talk about our red sauce because that is the most common. Mm -hmm. Now, where does pizza sauce come from? That's right, it's made from tomatoes. Very good. Now, the thing that I like about tomatoes is we can grow tomatoes inside and outside. Raise your hand if you have a garden at home and you grow tomatoes. I wish I had a garden at home that I grew tomatoes. Yeah. We just have blackberries, but tomatoes. When we grow them inside, what is that building called? Do you guys know what that's called? It looks like a house. A greenhouse, greenhouse. right, good. Very good. And what's neat about the greenhouses, what does that allow farmers to do that they can't do when they're outside? Well, we call that when we grow them in a greenhouse a controlled environment, right? So we can keep the temperature, the right temperature for the tomatoes. So if it's really hot in the summer, we can grow them because we can cool it down or if it's in the winter we can warm it up a little bit just like your house right and it also we can control how much water they get so most of our tomatoes that are grown in those greenhouses are hydroponic so they use water right they recirculate that water and mineral or and minerals yes yeah, so they add it they're the vitamins and things that the plants need right in there and then they can also keep out bugs and pests and things we don't want in their birds all the things like that and so they can control all of those things so they can make the best tomatoes that they absolutely can. Now, do we have a farm here in Arizona that grows tomatoes indoors? We do. We do. Yeah, so we have a, a company, you guys have probably seen it at the store called Nature Sweet. Okay, so they, those, they have- like bowls. Almost. Yeah, those little bowls with the little cherry tomatoes. You guys probably eat, I eat them like candy, right? They're really yummy. A lot of those are yeah. produced here, which is pretty neat. So. To get our sauce, we know we have to have tomatoes because that's what makes that red sauce. And we can grow tomatoes inside or outside. We already told you we have a farm here in Arizona that grows tomatoes inside. It's called Nature Sweet. Mm -hmm. And they grow lots and lots of tomatoes. But do they grow the most tomatoes out of anyone? Mm. No. If you guys could think of a state that has a pretty similar climate to Arizona, think of our climate, that's our temperature, right? Five mm -hmm. C's. Which state in the West would you guess produces the most tomatoes? Look at your maps, go West. Right next to Yeah, I heard it. California, right. very good. <gasps> Miss Alicia, why is only half of California colored? Well, because that's kind of the area where the tomatoes are, really grow well. Okay. All right. Yeah. And we might use the other half for something a little later. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So what is the next thing that we have to have on our pizza? The thing that makes pizza pizza. The cheese oh i love warm melted cheese mm, on my pizza stretch. now um where does cheese come from does it come from a plant or an animal i'm hearing a lot of animals and that's kind of right. right i heard cow yeah okay so does cheese we just get the cheese directly from a cow 
No. <laughs> you guys are so smart. <laughs> what do we get from the cow to make the cheese? Milk. milk. Very good. And so the cows that we get milk from, we call dairy cows. All right, our dairy cows. And of course, well, they live on dairies. dairies. And we do happen to have dairies here in Arizona. Um, in fact, on our dairies here in Arizona, because of our climate, we get to keep our cows outside. So the average number of cows on an Arizona dairy is about 2,000 cows. That seems like a lot, but we even have some dairies that have up to 10,000 cows. That's amazing. But our farmers take very good care of these cows and they're able to do it outside, mm -hmm. okay? So we do it outside because the climate, right? We get no snow and it really rarely freezes here. So we don't have to worry about that with our cows. But we do have to worry about warm temperatures, don't we? Yeah, in the summertime, you guys know it gets hot here. Yeah. Like 115 up to 120 sometimes, you know? So how do we keep the cows cool? Hmm. How do you guys keep cool? Think about in the summertime when you guys go to restaurants. How do they keep you cool? You sit on the patio. The misters. Yeah, they have misters and Very fans good. that cool you down. So the, the dairies have those with a little shade area for the cows to keep them cool. Yeah. Keeps them cool all summer. And the neat thing about the cows on our dairies is the breed of cows that our farmers raise they are very heat tolerant, so the heat doesn't affect them as much as some of the other breeds. So when I say a breed, I'm talking about different types of dairy cows or different kinds. So the most common breed that we have here in Arizona on our dairies are those cute black and white <laughs> ones, and we call them Holsteins. Can you guys say Holstein? Holstein. Holstein. Very good. And those are the black and whites. The thing that I really like about the black and white cows is no two cows have exactly the same spots. Their spots are just like their fingerprints, just like you and me. No two people have exactly the same fingerprints. The other thing that I like about our Holstein dairy cows and our farmers really like about our Holstein dairy cows is they produce a lot of milk. In fact, here in Arizona, the average dairy cow will produce about 10 gallons of milk a day. So think, think of, of a, a gallon, like a jug of milk. That's a lot. That's a lot of milk, right? They're very, very, very good at making milk. Now, what's another breed we have here in Arizona? Oh, my favorite breed is the Jersey cow. Those are the brown mm. cows. Brown cows? Yeah. What do we there's, get for brown cows? There's something special about the brown cow's milk, actually. Chocolate milk? No. No. Uh, brown cows don't give chocolate milk, right? We know that all cows give milk, and we have to add the flavor. Strawberry, okay. chocolate, or banana flavor, whatever the flavor that is. That makes sense. Okay? That makes sense. So their milk, though, has a lot of extra butter fat, so it's fatty, so it's creamier. It's really good to make cheese. What, yeah, I was going to say, what could we make really out good. of really creamy milk? Cheese, what else? Heard of ice cream. Yep. That happens to be one of my favorites, mm -hmm. besides pizza. Yeah. Right? Okay, so we know then that we have dairy cows here in Arizona. Um, we have over 200,000 dairy cows here oh, wow. in Arizona. And I know that seems like a lot, but we do not have the most cows or mm -hmm. make the most amount of cheese. Do you guys know what state produces the most cheese? We kind of call these people cheese heads even. Yeah, there's a state that's so really cheese. famous for cheese. Mm -hmm. so guys, she's going to show you the picture, and let's see if you can guess what state that is. What Do you state guys know is what this, state right? that is? This yellow one. Wisconsin. So what we want you guys to do is get a new color, color in Wisconsin, and then write cheese on the bottom. That way you know the commodity yeah. of cheese mostly comes from Wisconsin. So right here, so make sure you get the right one. What else do you guys like to have on your pizza? Give us a topping. Oh, I heard somebody else that's pretty similar to mine and that's pepperonis. How many of you guys like pepperoni? 
Ooh. on your pizza. We're going to put a lot of pepperonis yeah, lot of on pepperonis. here because we love pepperonis. Now, pepperonis. these are going to be beef pepperonis. It's important to know that you can have pepperonis that are from pork or turkey or turkey or in this case beef. Okay, so when we're talking about our pepperonis today, we're talking about beef. And do you guys know where beef comes from? Okay, so I heard cows. So let's do a little vocabulary lesson, mm -hmm. I think, okay? Yep. So when we say cow, we are talking about a female animal, okay? When we say a bull or a steer, we're talking about a male animal. And when we use the word cattle, we're talking about a group that could be both genders, okay? Mm -hmm. It could be bulls, cows, and steers in there, or just a whole group. So cattle is all of them. So when we talk about beef, beef comes from cattle because that comes from bulls, cows, and steer. The beef of the cattle is the muscle. Meat. Yeah, the, it's muscle. the muscle which we then consume as meat, okay? So when we're talking about cattle, that's the part of the animal. Now, do we raise beef cattle here in Arizona? We sure do. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have over 900,000 yeah. beef cattle that be, are being cared for every day by our ranchers here in this state, our beef cattle. Now, I know 900,000 seems like a lot. That's like almost a million yeah. head of cattle. But that does not make us number one. There is another state that raises way more cattle than we do. Yeah. So I want you to think of those ranchers that take care of that cattle. We call them cowboys and cowgirls. So what other state do you think of when you think of cowboys and cowgirls? I think they even have a football team yeah. named the Cowboys. <laughs> they oh. got it. Texas. Texas. Right? So Texas is going to be that really big state there at the bottom. So you're going to pick a different color than what you've already used. Color in Texas and write beef. Okay, so we have our crust, our sauce, our cheese, our pepperoni. What is another must-have topping on our pizzas? Heard it. Snausage, sausage, also known as sausage, right? We have lots of little sausages on our pizza. And just like for pepperoni, you can have different types of sausage. You can have beef sausage or pork sausage. So today, or turkey sausage. So today we have pork sausage, meaning that our sausage is coming from what animal? Pigs, Pigs. or pork, yeah. right. Right, we call the meat that comes from pigs pork. So very good. So we've got lots of sausage on our pizza too. This is looking really good, Miss Felicia. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hungry. Lots of meat. So do we raise pigs? Do our farmers care for pigs here in Arizona? In Arizona, we do have a, a big pig farm called Smithfield up in northern Arizona right now. Yep. So we have about 165,000 pigs here in Arizona, which again seems like a lot. Yeah. Right. Um, but it's not it's as much as other states, the most. though. Yeah. So let's talk about which state produces the most pigs. Ooh, Miss Alicia colored it purple. Yeah. Do you guys know what state that is? Iowa. Yeah. Very good. So Iowa produces the most pigs. Okay, so you should have Iowa now colored in for your sausage. Okay, so let's take a look at this pizza. What are those other toppings you guys like to eat on your pizza? Oh, I heard it. Pineapple. Uh, I know a lot of people like pineapple I on like their pineapple pizza. I like pineapple on my pizza. We don't have any pineapple to put on our pizza right now, but if you guys had to guess who grows the most pineapple, what would you think? an island Hawaii. Hawaii Hawaii grows more pineapple than yeah. anyone else in fact I think they're the only ones that really grow any pineapple okay because they have that tropical climate mm -hmm. all right lots of moisture we definitely can't important. grow it here mm -mm. okay so very good on the pineapple what else 
my favorite topping on pizza. I heard someone say I heard him say it too. Mushrooms. I like extra mushrooms on my pizza. All right, so we're going to put a lot okay, of mushrooms on there. Now, there are a lot of different types of mushrooms, aren't there? Yes. There are a lot of different types or varieties, you've heard that word before, of mushrooms. And we actually do grow some mushrooms here in Arizona. Um, what's the cool thing about how mushrooms are grown? Uh, well, mushrooms have to be grown kind of in the dark. They can't just grow yes, out in the field. They're, inside. It's a really interesting way it's how they grow. Spore. Yeah. So they, they can grow them inside buildings now, kind of controlled environments. And then a lot of times in other states, they'll grow them kind of in like a cave, like underground-ish. It's kind of yeah, dark. It's kind of cool. But the farmer can just go in and throw a bunch of the spores mm -hmm. in there and then close the door and make sure it has everything that it needs. And those mushrooms grow pretty, pretty quick. Now, mushrooms are kind of tricky because if you're out in the forest or out and you see a mushroom, should you just pick it? Not all mushrooms no. are good to eat. You have to be very, very careful with mushrooms. There's people that specialize in mushrooms and they know what to pick. So anytime you're out somewhere and you see a mushroom, just leave Don't it. Don't just Don't pick, pick it up it. and eat it. Because okay. a lot of them are poisonous and so you have to be really careful. So that's something really important to think about. Okay. So we do grow mushrooms here, but we don't grow the most. No. So what state grows the most? Ooh, this one's tricky. Go ahead and put it up and see what if they can identify think? what it is. Can you guys guess? I heard it. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. But they're on the East Coast. Yeah. Pennsylvania. So, uh, 23 states grow mushrooms, but Pennsylvania grows almost half, almost 50% of the mushrooms in the whole United States. They grow 40% of yeah. the mushrooms. Yeah, a lot of them. Wow. And a good picker, 48. a mushroom picker, can grow 80 to 100 pounds an hour. Whoa. Think Isn't about that. that. Mushrooms pick aren't up. very heavy. Nope. That's a lot of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Wow. How many of you guys like mushrooms on your pizza? Not, Not as many. many as the pepperoni. <laughs> I know. That's usually how it goes. So let's continue building. Yeah. We have crust, Ooh. sauce, cheese, beef, pepperoni, pork, pork sausage. sausage. We have Mush mushrooms. Extra mushrooms. Extra mushrooms. <laughs> now, a lot of people on their pizza like onions. Do you guys like onions on your pizza? I'm not a fan of onions because mm -hmm. I'm allergic to onions, but we're going to go ahead and put them on our pizza for today, okay? So we have our onions on the pizza. Oh, it's looking really nice. It's looking really good. It's looking like a fancy pizza. Now, it's important to know that there are lots of different varieties of onions. There are going to be red onions, yellow onions, white onions, sweet onions, mm -hmm. green onions, right? Lots of different types of onions. And we do grow them here in Arizona, but we definitely don't grow the most. A lot of the onions we grow here are gonna be transplant onions. So What does that mean? That means they start them, they grow them until they're, they've are they grown a little bit, and then they'll dig them up and they'll send them to another state and, let, and plant them and grow them till they're full size. So our farmers here only grow them for a little bit mm -hmm. of time, and then they send them off to farmers in other places to grow them to be the big onions like we will buy at the grocery store. Yep. That's a pretty neat fact. All right, now, can anybody tell us what part of the plant the onion is? So think roots, stems, flowers, fruit, leaves. Ooh, this one's a little tricky. This one's tricky, think of an onion. Okay. It grows underground, so most people think it is a root. root. But, but it's actually a modified stem. So it's just a specialized version of the, the stem of the plant. It's not the long skinny stem yeah. that we're used to. And so it's the stem underground. And if you look at an onion, if you go to the store and you pick up an onion, you'll see the little roots on the onion. And the big part that we eat is actually really part of the stem. The stem. That's super Kinda, cool. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, we're going to wake up. I had too much pizza for lunch. <laughs> All, All right. right. So we grow onions in Arizona, mm -hmm. but... Do you think that we grow, we're the state that has the most onions? I don't think so. I don't think so. What state do you think has the most onions? 
I think you should show it to them and see if they can guess what the state All right. is. This state right up here. What's that state? Washington State. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So get a new color, one you haven't used before. Go ahead and color in Washington and write the word onion in your key in that same color. Okay. Now, I know there are a lot of other toppings that we could have on pizza, but we only have one topping left here with us today. Do you guys want to mm. guess? Ooh, maybe we should guess what it is. So, the one that I brought today, it happens to be green, but you can also get them in red or yellow Ooh, or orange. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big clue. It's a fruit. Ooh, Ooh that might be, be confusing. Tricky, yeah. So, that means it has seeds inside, okay? Bad. When it's grown, it has seeds inside. And it rhymes with shepherd. <laughs> pepper. Yeah. yeah. Pepper. I bell some peppers. Yep. Green peppers. The bell peppers. Those peppers and shepherds, right? I don't know. That's all I could think of. Okay, so we have our green bell peppers. Ooh. I love green bell peppers on my pizza. It gives that extra little crunch. Mm, so, so good. Okay, so do we grow bell peppers here in Arizona. Yeah, yeah, of course we do. We grow bell you can peppers. grow them in your backyard. Does anybody have a garden where they might grow bell peppers? Yeah, a couple yeah. of you. And just like our tomatoes for our sauce, we can grow them inside or we can grow them mm -hmm. outside, right? Yep. Um, and when we grow them inside, that was grown in a greenhouse. Green Very good, okay, so same with our peppers. So, what state do you think is the number one producer of bell peppers? Ooh. Think back to some of the other states we've done, because there might be a clue in there. Remember one. we only colored half of it? They got it. California. California. California grows the largest number of bell peppers. All right, so we grow peppers in Arizona mm -hmm. too, but a lot of the, some of the peppers we grow are, ch are chili peppers, chili and peppers, spicier which are peppers, hot right? Peppers. Hot peppers, yeah. All right, so you should be coloring with your last color yeah. the other half of California for right pepper, here. and write peppers at the bottom. Well, my friends, I think we did a fabulous job working together to build that this looks pizza. That like a great pizza. I'm super duper hungry. Not only is it the world's best pizza, it's like the world's biggest pizza right mm -hmm. here in front of us today. I'm very excited. So hopefully now, the next time somebody asks you, where does pizza come from? You're going to say the farm. farm. Very good. So we'll go ahead and throw that map back up on the screen. So if you didn't finish coloring, you need a little bit of extra time, it'll be there for you. Thanks for hanging out with, with us today, and we'll see you next time.